Hello viewers, I'm Yashwendra Singh, Executive Editor of ETCIO, and I welcome you all to this topical session around digital transformation. Enterprises are looking to fundamentally transform their businesses, leveraging the power of digital technologies. While the pandemic brought businesses to a pause, it paradoxically played the role of a catalyst for digital transformation. To throw more light on the digital transformation landscape in the country and the way forward, we have with us Mr. Venkataduri Ranganathan, Chief Operating Officer, Nutrition Science at Tata Chemicals. Welcome, Mr. Venkat. Thank you, Yash. To start with, Mr. Venkat, uh, Mr. Satya Nadella very interestingly uh, said, you know, we have seen two years of digital transformation happening in two months. Being an industry stalwart and a business technology leader yourself, how do you see this pandemic driving unprecedented digital transformation across enterprises? Your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's a very interesting question. Uh, I think uh, even before the uh, pandemic came in, I think, uh, you know, world over, people had realized the importance of uh, digital. And uh, we were able to see the kind of uh, usage that uh, companies were getting into uh, leveraging digital technology, analytics, uh, has been pretty galloping. But what... Uh, uh, this pandemic has done is actually uh, created a speed up of all the transformations. Today, uh, companies and customers have realized that uh, to, to many of them, uh, even if they have to survive in business, digital is absolutely essential. So you find that uh, many of the companies, small, medium, big, everybody actually moving into leveraging digital. You can see even small vendors, you know, people who sell vegetables uh, have uh, started using uh, digital medium, uh, hospitals, uh, you know, uh, doctors using telehealth appointments, uh, you know, even uh, uh, companies which are delivering products, uh, you know, the, the, the roadside uh, uh, Kirana shop, all of them have started actually leveraging uh, digital to be able to really make uh, the shift happen. Because for many of them, this is also uh, a survival issue. Now, what is critical in this is that uh, what people have actually learned, companies have learned because of this uh, pandemic is that earlier, uh, companies could look at digital, you know, in bits and pieces that, uh, okay, let me look at uh, a particular function to digitalize. Uh, can I look at the sales function? Can I look at the uh, manufacturing area? But what has actually happened is that uh, uh, COVID has actually taught uh, all of us that uh, I think it's very critical to look at, uh, uh, you know, in a very holistic enterprise wise uh, digital planning and transformation has to be done because even if one section of the company is not digitalized, it can actually create a rupture in the whole thing. That's one big thing. Second thing that uh, the world is also moving much faster is on automation because what is happening is that uh, if you take many of the factories, uh, people are realizing that you cannot get uh, the same number of people to work in close proximity. So, you know, COVID has actually forced people to uh, maybe come in 50% or 33% at one time, but you still need to get your output. So how do you actually get that? So companies have realized that automation is something which has to be enhanced much, much faster. That's the third important part of it. The fourth important part of it is one can actually look at the workspaces. How do people work? You, you've heard companies make statements that uh, some of the companies have said, we will work from home uh, till uh, the vaccine comes. Uh, we'll work from home for another one year. So people are realizing that how can we actually look at alternate uh, work delivery models uh, as well as uh, even employment uh, terms and conditions so that we can actually be, uh, you know, uh, to use digital to be able to uh, continue to deliver uh, value to the customer. And, uh, but most important of all of them is that uh, it is going to give a big push to the digital skills of the people, the culture of the, uh, of the people uh, to be able to make that transition uh, so that, uh, uh, you know, it can, they not only can survive uh, the uh, challenges that have been thrown by the pandemic, but also uh, create a pervasive uh, and a transformative digitally driven organization. So thank you so much for wonderfully explaining the need for digital transformation for enterprises going forward. Uh, Mr. Venkat, vendors are doing their bit in helping accelerate the journey to digital for businesses across verticals. 
Tata Communications has gone a step further to set up the CII Tata Communications Center for Digital Transformation. How do you think this center is contributing towards this rapidly evolving industrial landscape? You're absolutely right. I think uh, uh, if, if you look at, uh, uh, see, if you, if you take the country as such, one can look at it and say that uh, while as a country we are, you know, the, the, the common man has been reasonably digitally savvy, you know, uh, you know, one can look at the speed at which uh, uh, people have uh, gone into leveraging digital for mobile phones. But what is also important is how do we actually build an ecosystem uh, which can actually make sure companies uh, and more importantly, uh, MSMEs, companies which uh, don't have the same level of resources like uh, a big company would. How can uh, uh, various companies actually learn about digital, uh, you know, uh, find out what is it that uh, are the opportunities that are there, how do they know where are they in the digital journey, what are the pain points that are coming in the way, how can they actually uh, transform them themselves to create a business model which is um, uh, transformative and delivers value for the future. So there are a lot of these things which uh, companies require in, in the country and especially the MSMEs. So CII, uh, CDT, has actually done a create uh, has come up at the right time to be able to leverage and support uh, the companies uh, in their journey towards uh, making it into a, a digitally savvy uh, nation. Along with, uh, if, if I look at various things that uh, you know the CII has been doing, and that's something which is very good, is that one it is to build an awareness about the need for digital transformation, the kind of workshops that uh, CII CDT has been holding uh, is, is something which, uh, you know, the kind of uh, numbers that we see people attending it, that's one thing very, very good. Second is that having get an uh, understanding about uh, uh, that the, the need for digital transformation is important. How do you go about it to be able to help that, uh, you know, CII CDT has come across to create a digital transformation uh, maturity matrix which actually helps a company to know where are you in your journey, where are you lacking, where are your strengths, what is it that you can do actually to create a roadmap to take it forward. That's the second important thing. The third important thing uh, that CDT has been able to do very well is the importance of uh, cyber security. Now, what is very critical is that as we use more and more IIoTs and uh, become more and more digital, we also are uh, we are generating a lot of data uh, that can actually be misused if we don't have proper security. So that's another third area that um, our CDT has been doing very good work. And the fourth important part of it is that having generated the data by putting up various uh, uh, instruments and uh, uh, equipments, how do you actually leverage it by leveraging uh, analytical capabilities? So these are the various things that uh, CIA CDT has been really leading uh, by uh, by communication, evangelizing, and uh, constantly uh, speaking to various uh, uh, people across the chain. And the last but not least, what this I would I am I'm very happy to see that this would all lead up to is to create an ecosystem, an ecosystem where different parties who are important for a digital transformation can all come together, collaborate, and then help companies move ahead. And so these are some of the things which uh, CII CDT has been uh, is working on uh, has achieved uh, uh, quite a bit of it. Of course, uh, you know the journey is a very long one to make uh, this a transformative exercise within the country. So the CII CDT seems to be doing some really exemplary work in the field of digital. Uh, moving on, um, Mr. Venkat, you are also the head of DX, DXL subcommittee at the CII Tata Communication Center for Digital Transformation. Can you tell us more about DXL? How will it help the organizations in their DX or digital transformation journey? You know, a, a simple analogy uh, to make the point very clear. All of us uh, periodically go and do a medical test. Why do we do it? We do a medical test to get to know where are we, uh, or where are all our parameters, what is, what is good, what is not good. And then we take an advice to know how do we actually correct it. If there is cholesterol, sugar, et cetera, et cetera, we get advice on knowing that there is a problem and then uh, working to improve on it. So similarly, if you look at it, we do know that digital transformation is a very crucial part of the uh, business transformation journey, in, especially in current times and in future. 
so if, if an organization needs to know where are you on the maturity of the digital transformation so what is important is that we have to create a set of dimensions as we call it on various parameters for a company to know how is it performing on each one of those parameters so it is able to know where is the company in the journey of digital this particular assessment what it also does is it also identifies the current pain points the places where it is not doing well plus also it identifies what are the new opportunities which can actually be leveraged through digital initiative and then work on it and it finally it helps you to create a prioritized road map uh, for the organization so that you know where it can go into the other critical thing in uh, you know in creating this uh, excel framework is that you are also able to compare with other companies and get to know where are you where are other companies so that you know that uh, you know if a company has been able to reach a more mature level what is it that has helped them to uh, move ahead in their digital journey and it helps the company the incumbent company to really then uh, work in a in a very planned manner uh, in this now there are many of um, you know this uh, digital uh, maturity assessment matrix there are many of them in the in the world today many consulting companies have them so why did it say that uh, we created the why should cia ctt create another one that's a logical question to ask what we felt is that what we did is we actually looked at various models and said what is it that is uh, you know a, a model which is uh, useful across different maturity companies whether a company is in a starting point in the journey or a very mature company the model must be able to leverage all of it second it must be industry agnostic Uh, you know you should be able to use it uh, for a hospital for a steel company for an it company you should still be use you should be able to use a model that can uh, be used across all the places so that's another thing that we did and the most important thing is that this excel model by a reputed industry body like cii cii is a completely uh, unbiased it's 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 an industry body so it's all companies having come together so this is actually by Uh, a, a neutral agency which will actually look at study and then tell you uh, where are you in your uh, journey and help you move ahead on the transformative uh, digital uh, landscape the awards is definitely one of the ways to appreciate and highlight technology leaders and technology adoption the second edition of the digital transformation summit and awards 2020 is coming soon what's different this time and why should companies register for it yes in fact uh, you know it's a, it's something which is very uh, last year we did the first edition and when we did that uh, you know the the response that we got was phenomenal we were very pleasantly surprised to see the enthusiasm of a lot of large companies and medium companies participating in it so that actually gave us the uh, you know a, a motivation to say that this is a very useful concept and so we plan to have a second one uh which is uh, which is going to be held this uh, this year it's a four day summit uh, last year was a two day summit this time we have uh, made it uh, into a much larger one into four day obviously because of uh, uh, corona uh, issue uh, this will have to be done uh, in a very digital manner this is going to be much larger uh, we are going to be getting industry leaders technology experts solution providers all of them are going to be coming across in one uh, forum there will be virtual exhibition where the technology solution providers and uh, other uh, product manufacturers would be able to uh, demonstrate and show what is it that can be done uh, we were, you know when we have actually spoken to many of the companies we already got a very good response for the dx awards because one of the critical thing of having these awards is that uh, it actually uh, does two important things one is that companies which are doing well we need to recognize them and acknowledge them that is one the second important thing is that for the companies who may not even participate in the award or may not even get an award it gets them to know uh, what are the good practices that others have achieved and it can actually be a learning uh, uh, opportunity for them so this time we are going to be looking at uh, uh, you know with, with the focus on atmanirbhar bharat uh, this time we are going to be looking at uh, uh you know the healthcare in, 
uh, how how can digital help in uh, new age healthcare, which is very critical given that Corona has been a big problem. How do we actually bring in social inclusion and upliftment, uh, leveraging digital? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the workplace is going to be changing dramatically because of uh, COVID. So how do we actually look at what kind of infrastructure is required to have a digital uh, workplace? What kind of uh, new business opportunities will come in the new normal? How can uh, companies leverage uh, uh, the internet of things uh, to really help their company to move ahead? And also uh, a very good uh, focus on cyber security, uh, which is going to be very, very critical uh, uh, for times going ahead. So I'm sure I'm looking forward to this uh, uh, summit, uh, that it's going to be a great show and uh, we are going to be having great uh, companies participating in it and uh, help uh, India as a country to move ahead on the digital journey. So finally, Mr. Venkat, tell us about the future plans of uh, CII CDT. What are the other initiatives of the center that we can look forward to as we adapt to the new normal? See, uh, what is going to be critical as, uh, is, is that uh, uh, because of the pandemic, I think, uh, you know, looking at what are the needs of the industry and the society, uh, the key areas that we need to focus on is how do we actually work on new type of healthcare uh, deliver deliveries? Because now COVID has actually created so much of problems. You know, people who have very serious ailments are also not able to go to the hospital. They are not able to go and see doctors. So clearly, I think uh, this is creating a, a new type of challenge. So new age healthcare is going to be very, very important. And that's something which we would like to work on. The second important part of it is that uh, we would like to expand our uh, um, work to get into more and more social inclusion and uplifting. Because if something can actually bring, uh, you know, the, the large population of the people up, it's actually going to be digital. So how can we actually support in uh, social inclusion and upliftment? That's going to be very critical. Uh, with uh, the new type of work uh, uh, conditions that we are going to get in, uh, how do we actually reformat, uh, uh, you know, organizations, uh, uh, workspaces, work from home? What are the things that we need to do? That's again going to be a very important uh, area that we are going to uh, work on. Uh, a lot of companies have got uh, kind of disrupted because of COVID. And so they are, they need to come out with newer business models by leveraging digital. So how can companies which have got impacted negatively by uh, digital or some companies have also got positively impacted by digital, how can we actually help them to progress faster on their uh, uh, transformative journey and one of the most important things is that how do we enhance cyber security in the new normal I think this is going to be very very crucial because what is happening is that uh, you know we all know the need for confidentiality security which is there two big changes that have taken place one with higher levels of digitalization there is a lot more data that is flowing into the system so obviously you know companies will have to see how do they protect their data that is one the second important part of it is that a large chunk of people have started working from home. Now, when, a, when, a, when an employee is working in office, you know, it is through a LAN system, it's easier to control security. But when uh, a large chunk of the workspaces is sitting at home, how do you actually bring in higher levels of cyber security is going to be a very important thing. So these are two important things as I see, uh, which are going to be very important and uh, CIA, CTT has taken it as one of the clear approaches to be focusing on uh, in the times going forward. That's all we have time for. I'm sure the conversation with Mr. Venkert will definitely help all our viewers in baselining their current levels of digital transformation maturity, as well as to measure the progress in their digital transformation journeys. With this, I would like to wrap up this session. Thank you once again, Mr. Venkert, for those wonderful inputs. And thank you, viewers, for watching this session. Take care and stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yash. It was my pleasure to share on behalf of CII CDT uh, on the various things that uh, CII CDT is doing and what are the kind of opportunities that uh, the Indian industry has under the new Atma Nirbhar uh, Bharat uh, uh, platform that we are in. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.